I've done loads of videos now on really common chord progressions, chord progressions that come up time and time again in different songs from different eras and styles, and yet today I've got four more really common chord progressions that have come up in countless different songs. So our first chord progression today was suggested by Fayaz, and it's what I would refer to as the harmonic minor vamp, a chord progression that begins on the minor one chord, the tonic chord, but it's a minor chord, then goes to the sixth chord of the minor key, and then the fifth chord of the key. Our next chord progression was suggested by Aristotle Asparagus Podcast, and this is a chord progression that he refers to as the Viva La Vida chord progression, because it's the chord progression that's used throughout the entirety of Viva La Vida by Coldplay. It starts on the fourth chord of the key, goes to the fifth, then the tonic chord, and then the sixth chord of the key. And it's actually very, very similar to another chord progression that we've talked, to, talked about before, which is the doo-wop changes, the 50s chord progression. This, that's the chord progression that goes one, six, four, five. And what you may notice is that the Viva La Vida chord progression is the same thing, but we've started on the fourth degree of the scale instead. We've started halfway through. And this chord progression gives us a very satisfying sense of climbing up and down. The first two chords are climbing up to the resolution of the tonic, and then the final chord, the sixth chord, begins to climb back down so we can start it again and just loop it as long as we like. It's widely considered that the three most important chords of the key are the tonic chord, the fourth chord of the key, and the fifth chord of the key. With those three chords alone, you can create a compelling and interesting chord progression, and lots of songs stick to just those three chords throughout their entire runtime. And that's because these three chords offer you the three different stages of tension and release that you might want to create that sense of forward motion in your song. 
The tonic chord, of course, gives us a sense of resolution, of arriving somewhere. This is our home. The fourth chord of the key, which we have, which has subdominant function, introduces some tension. It takes us somewhere else, but we're not desperate to get back home. We we know this isn't home because it sounds resolved when we return home, but this is another place that we can stay for a while and you know explore what's here. Then the fifth chord of the key. Now this does introduce a lot of tension. We really do want to go somewhere else now. This has got dominant function. And dominant function effectively wants us to resolve back to a chord with tonic function. In this case, the tonic, the one chord. So that's why one, four, and five are essentially the building blocks of Western harmony. And the next chord progression we're gonna look at is built exclusively from those three chords. It basically just climbs up them. It starts from the first chord of the key, goes to the fourth, up to the fifth, and then we climb back down via the fourth. One, four, five, four. A very simple but a very effective chord progression. Well, in five years' time, we could be walking around a zoo with the sun shining down over me and you, and there'll be love. The last chord progression we're going to look at today is literally just two chords, the minor tonic chord and the major four chord. That's it. This is what I call the Dorian vamp because these two chords are enough to place us into that Dorian sound. And the reason it's Dorian is because of that latter chord, the fourth chord of the key and the fact that it's a major chord. If we were in a typical minor key, like the natural minor or the harmonic minor, then that fourth chord of the key would be a minor chord, which results in a far more serious and solemn sort of sound, a very typical minor sound. But in the Dorian scale, the only difference we have to make to adjust a natural minor to a Dorian is we raise the sixth degree up, which has the effect of changing the fourth chord of the key from the minor chord to the major chord which gives Dorian that minor yet bright sound.
very night.